Welcome to Sherry Knits. I love knitting and I want you to love it too. Today we're going to look at how to connect your beginning and last stitch when you're knitting in the round and you bind off. How to make that join look really pretty. Let's get started. Let's take a look at how to make that final connection when you're knitting in the round. So you've finished knitting your piece, you've bound off your stitches, and you're ready to weave in your ends. But before you do that, you want to join this final bound off stitch to this first bound off stitch to make a nicer connection. Because right now you can see it's got a big gap and they're separating and it doesn't look very smooth. So what I'm going to do is take my tapestry needle and I really like these tapestry needles that have the bent tip. They've got a nice big eye. They're super easy to use. Um, I like the Haya Haya brand a lot. And so without splitting your yarn, <laughs> you need to thread your yarn onto the tapestry needle. And then you'll see the yarn is coming out the center of this stitch, coming right out the center. And you wanna take it across and pick up both legs of the stitch that's lying down that very first stitch from front to back. So I'm just gonna go under, under, and get the V, that first stitch lying down both legs of it, and pull it through without splitting any yarn. And then we're going to come back to the other side and take the needle and go right down through that hole where the yarn comes out. So right down through that stitch, like that. And then pull. And you wanna pull it until this stitch we just created matches the rest of the stitches. And when once you do that, you can take your yarn to the inside and weave it in and close up any little gaps that might still exist. But you can see that that just creates a really nice flat edge going across. So let me undo that and show you how to do it again. And so I'm going to put the yarn through the eye of the needle and you're going to come over and just grab the first stitch that you bound off, that first stitch that's lying down, pull it through, and then come back to the final bound off stitch and go straight down through and it's right at the place where the yarn is coming out and pull that through and then just tighten it up till it looks smooth and beautiful. And then you're ready to weave in your end on the inside. Pretty easy, huh? And it looks so great. So give this a try, let me know what you think. I think this is a good trick to have in your knitting toolbox. You can do it. Remember, you are the boss of your knitting. Wasn't that a great tip? I hope it's helpful for you. I really like doing it. And if you're looking for yarn, needles, or other knitting supplies, click on the link below for Twisted Yarn Shop, my favorite yarn store. If you buy something from the link, I make a small commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. And it does help me to continue to make these free knitting YouTube videos. Have a great day.